Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to install the necessary drivers and all that for your shiny new Pixel or Pixel 2 or pretty much any Google phone that they've ever made. So I'll be using Windows for this and only Windows because if you're on Mac or Linux you don't need to do any of this pretty much. So today I'll just be showing you how to install the drivers and how to replace the Lee Mobile ones that Windows 10 likes to install instead of letting you install the Google ones which is annoying. So First up, we'll need to enable the developer options. You can do this by going to About Phone and then tapping on the build number seven times. Just do that seven times until it says you are now a developer. Once that's done, you can head back and I think it's here. No, one more back and then go to the developer options. It's actually here. Android P has got me running in circles. But anyways, once you're in the developer options, all you have to do is enable USB debugging and we'll check out the bootloader drivers a bit later but first up you need to enable USB debugging and then grab your handy dandy USB type C cable to USB type A unless your computer has a USB type C port which is which in that case uh, you can just plug in your phone in any way you like and then you should see a little P icon there and then that should say USB debugging connected now once you've done that we can go over to our computer where we'll start downloading some cool things first up is the Google USB drivers you want to download the later zip file here, so just click on this blue link there. Check that you've read and agreed to the terms and conditions and download the blue or hit the blue download button. Next up, you want to download the SDK platform tools. Now these are just executables that are needed to communicate with your phone in its different modes. So we need to download the one for Windows. And of course if you're a Mac or Linux, you can just download these, but this is a primarily a Windows tutorial. So once you've got those two files downloaded, we can pretty much get started right away. So we're going to open up the USB driver zip file here. Once that's open, just extract the USB driver folder outside, just like that. Just drag it out there. And now platform tools, yeah, you could do the same thing. Just drag that whole folder outside. And I'll maybe show you how to add it to the path environment variable. So you can use ADB and fastboot from any command prompt. So you don't have to change the directory to where the platform tools are actually located. Very handy. So now we're going to try to remove the Lee Mobile Android device USB drivers that Windows likes to install for you. Uh, we don't like these. We don't want these. So what we're going to do is open up our device manager. Now I have it open here already, but then to open this on Windows 8 and above, you can right click on the start menu or press Windows X on your keyboard and then select device manager. Or on Windows 7, you can right click on your My Computer icon and or the computer icon and then click on Manage. Or alternatively, you can just search up Device Manager in your Start Search button and you can get it from there. So once you've got this open and you do have the Lee Mobile Android device drivers installed, uh, we're going to do a few things to get rid of it. So first up, you're going to need an elevated command prompt. So you can do the same thing, right click on the Start menu and click on Command Prompt Admin. Otherwise, you can search up CMD and right click on that and run as an administrator. Once you're an administrator, we're going to type in PNP. It's plug and play util, util, forward slash enum, enumerate drivers pretty much, like so. And then we're going to locate whichever OEM INF uh, pretty much resembles the Lee Mobile one. So let's just uh, have a look at that. Let's see, let's see. I think it was 14. Yes. Here we are. This is this is the one we want to remember. So remember OEM 14 or whichever one that says provider name Lee Mobile and class name Lee Mobile Android device. You're going to want to remember what INF file that is located at or which OEM number. So write that down. Don't write 14. Write down whichever one that it says on your command prompt window. It could be different, okay? Next up, what we want to do is type in the commands to delete it. So let's just go all the way to the bottom and then what we want to do here is type in pnputil forward slash delete dash driver oem. Now remember the oem number that you found before. Don't type in mine blindly. Just type in the one that you found that contains the Lee Mobile uh, USB drivers. So in my case, it's 14. So whatever number you found before, just type that in. 
So OEM 14.inf and then forward slash force like so. The package has been deleted successfully, that's good. And then what we want to do next is right click on our Lee mobile Android device here and then select the Android Composite ADB interface. We can right click and then click on update driver software and then browse our computer for our driver software and from there we can actually browse for where we have extracted the USB drivers. So I'm just going to copy this directory, go back to our device driver thing. Actually there's no point in copying the directory. Actually there is. Okay. I'm just going to paste it here and then hit next and you can see that it's installed the Android Composite ADB interface and our device manager will refresh itself and we should see it under the Android device instead of the Lee Mobile Android device. Go back to our extracted USB drivers and you can see the android underscore winusb.inf you want to right click on that and click on install. Okay so now we can test our newly installed drivers and we can do that by using the platform tools that we downloaded and extracted earlier. Now with our, phones, uh, with our phone having the USB debugging mode enabled we can now go and try use an ADB command to reboot our phone into the bootloader so we can finish configuring our bootloader drivers as well. So to do this, we can type in CMD in our address bar of the Explorer window inside our Platform Tools folder. And you can see that will bring us to the same directory as where our Platform Tools are. Pretty handy, someone told me that in the comments a while ago. But we're going to type in our ADB command. So we type in ADB reboot bootloader, like so, and hit enter. And this will start the ADB daemon. And of course on our computer, sorry, on our phone, if I can switch to that real quick, you might get this pop-up to allow USB debugging and as long as this is the computer that you're plugged into and you're pretty sure it's plugged into your device then you can tap on always allow from this computer and then tap on OK. Now if we go back to our um, computer here you actually might need to retype that command as you can see here that uh, you would need to check a confirmation dialog on your device which we just did so we press the up arrow key on our keyboard to get to the previous command and we type or press enter. Now phone should reboot into the bootloader and uh, we'll wait for it as it does that. Okay, we're in the bootloader now and our device manager has re has updated itself and we now see the Android bootloader interface and this should be the Google one. Yes it is. Now this happens because we actually forcibly removed the Lee Mobile OEM drivers and since there's no other drivers that are exactly compatible with this, we've now chosen or, the, or Windows has chosen to automatically install the best drivers it can find for it and which are those USB drivers we installed earlier. So that's all done and settled so now we can just uh, type in fastboot devices to check our devices in fastboot which it is and then we can reboot our phone. So we just type in fastboot reboot and there we are. So while our phone's booting up I'll now be showing you how to add the platform tools to your path environment variable. So that way you don't have to, you know, uh, keep changing your command prompts directory in order to run ADB or fastboot, and you can run it from any command prompt that's located in any directory, which is a uh, very cool, and very useful. So to do this, you want to type or press start, and then just type in system env. You can get to a item like that, or alternatively, you can actually right click there on your start button and then click on system and then click on advanced system settings and that'll get you to the system properties as well then click on environment variables and then scroll down to the system variables until you see path it's just down there double click on path click on new and then browse and then browse for wherever you located your platform tools folder so I know that's on my E drive on Android and platform tools no need to go into any of the subdirectories, just select the parent directory and hit OK. And now you should see the platform tools uh, entry there. Hit OK, OK again, and you guess you can close that. Now next time we open up a command prompt window or even a PowerShell window, for example, we can open up PowerShell, we can type in ADB devices and that'll run our ADB command. And if we type in, well, fastboot won't work here, but then if we type in ADB version, you can actually see where it's installed as in our platform tools folder inside our Android folder on our E drive 
So the same directory we added to the path environment variable, but you can see that we're located in my user folder. So if I type in ls in my user folder, you won't see adb or fastboot, those executables there, and yet I can still run them. That's because it's from the path environment variable, so you can check that, okay, we've got adb and fastboot listed in our path environment variable, we can just use those instead. So that's about it. So hopefully your drivers are installed with the Google USB drivers now instead of the Lee Mobile ones, and everything should be working fine from this point forward. You don't need to redo any of this, by the way, unless you move to a different computer, or unless you reset your computer, or unless you uninstall the Google USB drivers for some reason. But um, yeah, this is kind of like a do once, set and forget kind of thing, and you should be able to follow any other YouTube video, written tutorial, any guide out there that requires you to use ADB or Fastboot uh, without too much thinking. So thanks for watching guys, if you have any questions or suggestions feel free to leave down below or even better yet, join my discord channel or server and we can chat about things there or you can get some help there as well. So yeah, as always, thanks for watching and happy flashing.